Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a, a very feline based Sotoku puzzle. If you are a, a cat fancier, uh, this one is called Kitten's Play. Um, we can kind of cover up this little hole here for a second uh, by Tom Fry. As you'll see, it, it's in the, the shape of a cat and some sort of play toy. But uh, the, the it was interesting just by the look of the, you know, like the uh, the artwork of creating these types of things. That's why I was uh, taking a look at this one. But uh, it's got uh, only a couple of uh, rules. We got normal Sudoku rules apply. So every row, every column, and every three by three box contains digits one through nine once each. That is fairly common. We should all be there by now knowing this, but if you are new to these, that is a, no, the normal Sudoku rule set. We've got slow thermo, so digits mustn't decrease along thermometers from bulb to tip. So what does that mean? So we have three bulbs of our um, thermos. Now let's look at this one. What the, the, the slow thermometer means is that you can never decrease, but you could stay the same as you go up. So in a normal thermo, you would start at a low digit and you'd have to increase uh, each step along the way. But in a slow thermo, looking at this line here particularly, this could all be the same digit because you never are, well, not can't always be all the digits, but this could be a digit, let's just say one. This could still be one because you're not decreasing. Uh, this would have to go up because it's in the same region. You can't repeat uh, digits in a region. But then this could be the same as this one. So on this uh, thermo, the slow thermo, Instead of the bare minimum being what a normal thermo would be one, two, three, four, this could be one, one, two, 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 something like that. And as you get up into these other uh, thermos, you'll, you'll see how things are going to start working out. So um, there's a little uh, bit of a description as to bulb to tip here. Uh, I think it's uh, fairly obvious what the, the tips and bulbs are. If you don't know, these are the tips or wherever the thermo ends. All of these guys and then the bulbs are these circles so i need to stop clicking on the spot right there so let's get into uh this puzzle and see uh see what we can do with it it does look like it should be uh, quite solvable and, and fairly enjoyable too so okay the first thing seems to be one of these guys and this one seems like it's going to be the most uh useful at this point because, as you'll see, we have a multitude of thermos that are coming off of this one bulb. So when I'm working with slow thermos, one of the things I tend to like to do is type in um, on the center uh, type of clue, or not clue, but center uh, check or mark notation, the absolute bare minimum that a cell can be. And because then sometimes you'll start finding a place where there is a limitation where you can then come back and really determine what uh, the specific digits are. So if we were starting here, the lowest obviously is one. We can go up two, three, four. Now on this, we have to increase because we're in the same region. This one, we still have to increase because we're on the same row. So this would still have to go up. Then we have to keep going up. And then we have an answer here sort of. So we've just shown that the absolute bare minimum of this one is going to give us some digits. Because if this was anything other than one, let's say it was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, what does this get to? Nothing. It would be a 10. So therefore, this is what this particular cat's head must be. Now this digit, we cannot say it's a nine, it's either an eight or a nine, because it could be a slow thermo. Uh, it could continue as a slow thermo. Now, this one actually ended up working out as a normal thermo, um, but that's probably just to get uh, the process going. Now, can we do similar uh, continuing off on these other branches? Because now we've, we've reduced a lot of the possibilities of what this could be. We know it can't be one, two, three, or four, so it could be five. And we can we could probably just write these in right now because we've we've gotten ourselves to a point where I think that'll work. Um, this could be five, six, or seven. This could be again. We could have if this wasn't here 
had this slow thermo work where this is a five and this is a five, but because that's a five, this can't be a five. So this could be six, seven, uh, or eight. And then this one right here has to be uh, greater because it's in this box. So then we could put seven, eight, nine, but as you see, uh, we have a seven and an eight looking at it. So this one actually is just a nine. Therefore, we tell that this is an eight and this is not an eight. Okay. Now I think we're going to be able to continue this process because we've got a bunch of numbers now looking at the tail ends of some of these things. Uh, I should say the, the paw ends of some of these. Uh, let's continue with our, our work here. What are the bare minimums that these can be? And this one is actually getting um, to be... Um, well, that actually does work because this the bare minimum this can be is 5. Well, it can't be six, seven, eight, or nine. So this has to be five. And then the the way we got there is we used bare minimums the entire way. So therefore it has to continue. Oops, I pressed the wrong button, sorry. In that vein, or else the Sudoku would break. Now, this three has to continue here because this digit is either the same as three or it's higher than three. That's the only options, but Every single digit above three sees this space. So four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this is three. Now, then this one has to be higher than three because both of the threes are staring at it, but it can't be five, six, seven, eight, or nine either. So this has to be four. So there we go. Now we're going to get two digits here that I'm going to type in just for the fun of it because I think we're, yeah, we do actually get some because the two looks at it. So we get one and two. Now, can we continue with our slow thermonitoring? Uh, that's a word, trust me. Um, you'd have to at least go up to four, but we can't because the four sees it. So this has to at least go to five, and this would have to go at least up to six. Now, we don't, we can't really say much about that. So I'm going to probably type these in um, just so I'm not sitting there with one digit on here and forget about it. <clears throat> now, do we want to start looking at this lovely little hole over here? I guess we should. This could be a one at its bare minimum. Then we can go up to two. This cannot be three or four because of these. So the minimum it can be is five. This then six, seven, eight. I don't see any other way to modify that. So we're going to type in these just so again. We're not uh, putting ourselves in such a position where we forget what we've done. And actually, sorry, I just saw this eight. So screw that. This is a nine, seven, six, and five. And because this cannot be a one, because it would see the lowest one, plus there's one there, this has to be a two, because three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are all taken. And this has to be a six and seven, just to finish off the loveliness. So this is a one. So the the hole is covered with a one. Yippee doo da. This is, now let's just continue on our merry way. This could be three, four, this cannot be five, and it cannot, so it could be six as its bare minimum. This then could be seven, and this could be eight. So there's not a ton left here either. Uh, this one actually cannot be anything other than six. Is that correct? Headphones are starting to hurt me, so I moved them about. So yeah, so this is one, three, four as bare minimums. This can't be five. It could be six. It cannot be seven. So therefore, it has to be six. And therefore, these have to be the bare minimums to get me there. And then these seven eighths still right now are um are not a given because we have options there and we can probably just keep on continuing our continuing uh the, the lowest this could possibly be is four the lowest this could possibly be is six seven and eight so let's uh pop these in because there doesn't appear to be any restrictions on those at the moment and that is correct. Okay, so maybe we need to get over to our kitten's little toy here. 
and try to figure out where we go there. So we got a one. These cannot be two or three. So the bare minimum this can be is four, five, six. And therefore this, well, this can't be six because it sees a six, so seven and eight. Now those are all the absolute bare minimums. So these could be one higher in every instance. And that's going to give us a 6, 7 here, and a 7, 8 here, and an 8, 9 here. So we can use that information to get rid of um, some things. These cannot be 7 or 8. We also have a 4, 5 pair here, which is going to give us 6, and therefore our 7. We don't know if that's a 7 or not. But this does give us 6 and 7 here. And so we have our 4, 5 done here. This turns this into an 8, because that's the only thing left on the row. Now, can this be anything other than a 1? It could be a... No, it can't be 2, and it can't be 3, and it can't be 4 or 5. So yes, this is 1. Awesome. Alrighty. Now, we have a 5 over here, so that actually takes that out too. So let's just make sure... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this has to be eight, so this has to be nine. This has to be eight and nine. The seven sees this, so this has to be a six. And I think at the moment that's where we're good to go. So let's just do the last bits we've got here. This one cannot be one, two, three, or four. It could be five. It can't be six, seven, or eight, or nine, so therefore it has to be five. This one, the bare minimum, it could be a six, and it can't be seven or eight and nine, so it has to be six. This one right here has to be uh, an eight, because that is the only digit at or above six that doesn't uh, have something seeing it here. So that's eight, that's one, that's seven, that's eight. And we should be pretty close to wrapping this one up. This is going to be a 2, right? Yes. This can't be 6, so we'll remove that. Oh, well, this can't be 7 either because of that turned into a 6, so this is 5. Now, we've got two digits left. We need a 1. It can't go up here because of this one, so this is 1. And therefore, this has to be the 7. So that's going to give us our 8 and our 9. And we've got these two digits left, which have to be 4 and 9. This is the 4 because of that 9, so there we go. These two digits have to be from 2 and 3. We've got a 2 here, so 3 and 2. We get a d d dot. This is 4 or 5 because that's all that's left in uh, the column. These two are from 2 and 9. This can't be 9, so it is 2 and 9. All right, so. Let's, uh, let's just get these Sudokus done with. We've got 5 and 7 left over. 7 here, so 5 and 7. And then we can probably blast through these guys down here. Uh, there seems to be some things that are looking at them. But may not entirely be true. Well, yes it is, because we need a 6 in this row, and we can't put it here. So this is 6. Again, stop it. Mouse. This has to be 5, so that's going to give us our 4, and our 5, and our 4. And we are left with a 5 and 7 here, so this has to be 7, because if there's a 5 down here. There we go, there we go. Where's the next best place? Do we want to continue down here? We need four, 3 and 4, we've got a 4 there, so 3 and 4. I swear this mouse, I'm going to hurt you at some point. These two, well, let's do these two as well. They have to be from one and two. We've got a one here. So we've got two and one and two. And then we can just hopefully type in the rest of these digits. We need a one, three, and seven. None of these can be seven. So this is seven. The three over here breaks up the one and the three. These have to be from one. This is the only place a one can go. 3, this is the only place a 3 can go, and 4. And now we have our last few digits left. Uh, this is 9, this is 8, and this is 6. And there we go. Congrats, you solved the puzzle. That was a nice quick one. Kittens play. 
Um, I guess at, at the end of the day, when you think about kittens play, it's it should be easy. Um, thankfully, we covered up our little little hole over there with the one. Um, that was a fun puzzle. It was really the the logic of it working through it all worked really well, and it was very fun. Um, it was a it was a nice quick one too, which is also nice when we've struggled sometimes in the last couple of videos. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed this one. I certainly did, and uh, see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.